Itchimi was walking along. It was a very sunny morning. I am looking really good today. Itchimi wanted to visit his friend. I'll bet that the birds want my feathers. Itchimi thought he was looking handsome. I'm looking awesome for the dance tonight. All the animals stopped to glance at him as he strutted along. I bet those animals are so jealous. Itchimi thought the animals were jealous, but they were laughing to themselves. Ha 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 ha! The sun was high in the sky. It was blazing hot. Itchimi wished that he didn't wear so many clothes. Man, am I hot. I wish I hadn't wore so many clothes. He was getting very uncomfortable, so he decided to sit in the shade of the boulder. This boulder is very shady. Under this boulder, it will keep me cool. Itchimi decided to leave his blanket on the boulder. I'll pick it up on my way back. Grandfather Itchimi whispered to the boulder, I feel very sad for you. You are horribly sunburnt. I will give you my blanket to keep cool during incredible hot day. Itchimi put his blanket over the boulder and left. After a couple hours past dark, clouds started to appear. Hey, I might need my blanket. I don't want to get wet. So Timmy went up to the boulder and said, I need my blanket. Besides, a boulder doesn't need a blanket. So he took the blanket off the boulder. It was not too long ago that the sun, rain and thunder began to light up in the sky. He decided to sit down in the shelter. He said to himself, Thank goodness I thought to bring my blanket. After a while, he heard a different sound. It sounded like thump, crash, crash, thump, crash, boom. That doesn't sound like thunder, he said. He looked out from under his blanket and the big boulder was bouncing across the prairie straight toward him. Timmy dropped his blanket and ran in fear. I have to get to the top of the hill. The boulder rolled right to the top. I have to get across the big river. He will get stuck in the dirt and mud. Itumi ran across the big river. The boulder was close behind him. Tony ran as fast as he could, but could not get away from the boulder. He ran across the river, breathless, running out of the far bank, and dropped down to the ground in exhaustion. The boulder leaped over the river with one mighty jump. Before Iktome could stand on two feet again, the boulder rolled on top of his legs and stayed parked. Get off me, you silly boulder. Can't you hear me? Why are you doing this to me? Iktome could no longer move. He squirmed, he yelled, he whacked the boulder. He tried to convince the boulder to get off him, and he whined. The boulder still did not move. Some mighty buffaloes heard Iktomi and came to see what was wrong while trotting. What am I supposed to do? The bulls got their mighty strong horns under the boulder and pushed and shoved with all their might, but the boulder didn't move anywhere. It stayed put. All of the animals saw what had happened to him, so they came to help Iktomi. My younger buffalo bro brothers, please help me now. Even the smallest four-legged animals jumped in and helped. But the animals were no use to Iktomi. The boulder hadn't even moved one bit. The animals did what they could and walked or trotted away from him. What's the problem with you? For goodness sake, he... It soon became dark. The moon shone brightly. The bats began to fly. Tommy yelled at the bats. Hey, bats! The big fat boy was making fun of you. He said you guys are like the most hideous creatures in the whole world. He said you guys don't know up from down. He also said some words, but I cannot use that kind of language. It made the bats insane. More and more swarmed around. I told them they're not to be mean to such handsome young bats. He said you guys don't even know if you are birds or animals. He even said you guys are furry beasts. The bats were so mad, they started attacking the boulder. 
bats and rocks flew everywhere. It totally screamed. Yes, furry beast, he called you. The bats flew at the boulder and knocked off huge chunks. Ha! You got that boulder hood, boss. I always knew I'd get in with this fat rock. There was nothing left but small pieces. Tony went on his journey.